All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So today, Doc and Junior Mint and me are finishing up all the little details on the Lamborghini. Christopher has finished putting the exhaust system back together. So that is ready to go. He, he still need to do the flapper, Chris. Um, the part came in for the starter. Doc is getting that put on. And the starter will be fixed. Uh, Junior Mint and me got to fabricate something to fix the air breather system. So let me walk you over here, show you what we got going on. So for all of you who are familiar with this tractor, when this thing came in, that was clear full of water and you can see the hole I think I don't know if you can see the hole in the bottom of that I mean anyways there's a hole in the bottom of this we got to fix this is the top part of it it was broke off it's where this is supposed to go I was going to order a new one um, but there he can get me a new one it's three hundred and sixty dollars and Tyler's already getting deep deep into this thing so we're gonna to try to keep it cheap for him um, so me and junior men are gonna see if we can't fabricate something so that will go back together right and then I think what the ideal is is inside here just to put a round air filter instead of an uh instead of an uh um a um um oil bath oil filter thing so junior mint you got any ideals your piece you had in there fell out it's on the floor back there so over there behind the tractor behind the tractor yeah behind the tractor so but as Junior Mint's working on getting this thing figured out, Doc's got to put the weights back on the front, put the tin work back on, get all the wiring finished up. You seen a few weeks ago that it did run. Um, so that part's done. I think we got to air up the tires. We got a hydraulic le leak that we got to figure out why. I talked to my Lamborghini guy in California, which man, he has been a savior on this tractor. He thinks it could just be a plug that's loose or something. He says there's really not anywhere from the hydraulic fluid to leak out. So we gotta get that figured out. Then I gotta go get some more hydraulic fluid because it all went on the floor. You see all those little absorbent pads. We had to soak it all back up. But once we get all that said and done, then we can, um, we'll be done with this and this tractor will finally be finished. So, okay, so I'm gonna let it go at this point. We're going to work a little bit, then I'll bring you back in, and we'll work a little bit, and I'll bring you back in, and we'll work a little bit, and I'll bring you back in. So, all right, guys. Okay, guys, so on our dock has discovered that the starter needed some work. So he is trying to get that figured out. It's not cranking the tractor over fast enough. To start without pull start in the tractor. So Doc found some things wrong and he's getting that fixed on the starter. Junior Mint. You don't gotta do all that. Yeah, roughing it up. Okay. So he did some modifications. So that hole he was able to come up with a way to fix it. And uh that repaired got a piece on top of it sealed up that hole modified that did a pretty good job there so we'll be able to put that back on and then I'm just going to put in a put in a a, fil a rather a filter inside there right Chris this is the goal We're, we gotta go get some oil here in a minute and stuff 
and then we're going to yeah, just cut some oil in there and uh, stuff. Here pretty soon I'm going to have them pull it out once Doc gets done with the starter where it starts on its own before we finish the assembling process of putting everything back together and just take this thing over there and fire up the hot seat and power wash this thing the whole tractor and then we will assemble it put the tin work and all that stuff back on it so says we've had a lot of oil 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 situations on it we're going to call them oil situations i like that so but yeah so that's the plan so that's what's going on so far hopefully this thing will be wrapped up here very shortly and then uh i could just get it back to um tyler and we'll be done and he'll have his lamborghini tuacto so all right so we'll We'll check in again in here in a little bit. Okay, guys. So, Doc went to work and got the starter redone. And it cranks over a lot faster and a lot better than it has been. Junior Mint has finished rebuilding the air breather stack. And it's back on and proper and stuff. Right now I'm sending it over. They're going to give it a good proper power wash, get it cleaned up, and then we're gonna bring it back in here and figure out what's going on with the uh, with the uh, hydraulics. Yeah. And then if that's it, it's just put the tin, tin work and weight back on it and then park it back in here so I can put a battery maintainer or something on the battery because the battery doesn't hold charge so but it's coming together it's looking good you gotta find You should, I think you should have left the battery charger on it to yeah. give it some extra boost. Maybe. Probably should. So. Could have just fired it a second ago. Yeah, it just fired a second ago. But yeah. So here, let me here, let me finish up. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up and then I'll just hook you back up here. Okay. I got the seat. You can take your hand off of it. You're running 40 pounds of oil pressure, so the oil pressure's good. Whoa! All right, so you did it just a tiny bit. So we got to figure out what you're looking at over there. Self priming? Yeah, but it's a gear pump. Okay, so. so okay. Come on, you little 
Yeah. Does it feel like you're getting any pressure or anything? Oh, you think it may... Okay. I don't know, it's like a fork. It's the same color. Huh? I said that it's treated like a fork, it's the same color. Treat it like a fork because it's the same color. Any pressure? No. Huh. Okay, well, let me go get some stuff. So I just got off the phone with our guy from uh, California who we've been dealing with on the Lamborghini parts and, and stuff. I, I cannot get any more, uh, I can't get any diagrams or anything for you, Doc, <laughs> on that. Um, there isn't anything. Also, I can't get any... Um, I can't get you parts either because that is that three point system in that tractor is made by another company, not by Lamborghini. Lamborghini used them in the early tractors and they only used them for a little bit. And the company, when, when Lamborghini started using another company, that company went under and nobody makes their parts. So, they're, they're not in the parts book, they're not in the manual exactly layout. It tells you to go get the parts manual for, from the company to how that system works. It's not actually in the Lamborghini book. Uh -huh. So he didn't have any information on how that system works. But it's very similar, he said what he knows, it's very similar to how the 8-in-4 system works. But so we might have to take a look and see Maybe we can do something with it. The other thing is I need to get a hold of Floyd because we're still getting smoke. Uh, you, when, you, when you're firing it up sometimes, you're getting big, dark, black smoke, and we shouldn't be. Yeah. It's too hard to start the first time, even though it starts fine every time afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, we got to get that laid out, and I, we're still getting white smoke, which is kind of a compression and a, and a fuel mm -hmm. issue, a so we need to figure that out because we do now both have both cylinders back. Mm -hmm. When we were only at one cylinder before, we are now, but we did rings, we did, we did the bottom end, we tightened everything up, we cleaned out the old fuel, we got new fuel in there, you put all new gaskets in the motor, you sealed that motor back up, you got the, the, all the torques back to where they needed to be torqued. You, you mean, you've been through that motor solid, but there's still issues that we've got to get hammered out. It's, so. it's we're gonna have to go through all that. So our hopes and dreams today of this being the final day on the Lamborghini. Yeah. So the never ending project continues to be never ending. Mm -hmm. We wanted this done before spring, not done. Wanted it done before the end of July, not done. Mm -hmm. Wanted it, maybe we can get it done before August, okay. probably not. I want this thing done and out of the shop. I wanted to bring in my LA mm -hmm. so we could do the motor on it. Man, I don't know if we ever will. Um, it's just, it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. So um, we have other things we need to do next weekend. Mm -hmm. So 
Um, and we got so much money tied up in that thing. Yeah. That we got to get taken care of, or mm -hmm. uh, that I would like to recoup from this yeah. this adventure. So, yeah. but anyways, guys, uh, I guess that's it. So we need to wrap it up, bring mm -hmm. it in, tuck it away for now. We'll pick it up following weekend. Um, we got equipment that needs to come up on the lot this weekend, this week. Sure, yeah. We got equipment we need to go get. Mm -hmm. We got tractors we need to get ready to go, to leave. Mm -hmm. We got stuff to do that's, this is just gonna have to stop for one more weekend. And we need to get, we need to get to some auctions. So, yeah. but anyways, all right. Okay. That's enough of me rambling. Hey guys, so anyways guys, thanks for coming in, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't joined the channel, do so we can get this uh, this uh, live streaming from auction thing started. If uh, we we got to get the numbers up on that before we can do that. The other thing is, um, yeah, you know, thanks. You know, I, I don't know. Anyways, this this tractor's got me got my brain fuzzled right now. Thanks yeah. for coming in. Thanks for watching, and, and we'll catch you later, guys.